Welcome back to our show. We enjoy sampling great foods here on Virginia this morning. Bachelor Kitchen chef Chris Hill shows Jess how to put together a tasty skirt steak. Take a look. More delicious food right here on Virginia this morning. Bachelor Kitchen chef Chris Hill joins us and he puts together his tasty grilled skirt steak with fresh asparagus and goat cheese creation. Good morning, Chris. It's great to have you back. Good morning. Always a pleasure. This sounds is, good, right? Yeah, and it smells delicious already. We're already. not even totally put together yet. Yep. Well, I have a little bit of stuff already prepared that we'll see Man. a little bit later. Okay. But I have some asparagus here that I already roasted off. Okay. With a little bit of shallots and garlic and some thyme. Yum. Uh, that really just makes it easier. We don't want to cook. We want to make sure the asparagus is done when we actually cook the steak too, so that it's not overcooked. Because um, if you tried to put it all together and the it's different just cooking times, it doesn't work. Yeah. So we're gonna basically two thirds of the way cook the asparagus, and then here I have this skirt steak. So imagine the skirt steak. It's gonna be about a foot long or so. Okay. And I don't have it here, but I have a tenderizer. Pounded it out. Uh huh. That way it's gonna be flat. And then there's also a membrane along like the one side. You want to cut off the fat. Okay. And then remove that. And essentially, what we'll do is cut into pieces like this. I have two here, but I think this got me four or five. Okay. If you, when you go to get that skirt steak and it is that one larger piece, um, could you have maybe your butcher just trim that for you? If you if were you're really good friends with them, yeah. <laughs> if you smile sweetly. That, that's okay. right. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's the thing. Just. For your seafood guy, your, your butcher, whoever it is, get to know them. Like go in there whenever you're buying stuff, ask questions, and you know they'll, they'll, they'll take, take care, care of you. Yeah. yeah. All right, but if you if you haven't smiled sweetly enough, that's right. Then you then you're gonna have to trim that yourself. Exactly. Okay. And it's not too hard. Just to get a boning <laughs> knife. Just be careful. Okay. And um, the important thing is you want it to be um, you want it to be as flat as you can get it. You don't want any holes, but you want it to be flat so that when you cut it, it's not too tough, and also when you're eating it, it's not too tough. Okay. Also marinate in a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing I marinated that in. Again, that's going to break down some of the meat tissues and okay. make it much more tender to eat. And you've shared the recipe with us, so we'll put that on our website yeah, and have sure a link did. back to yours too. Yeah, so what I do here is I have some asparagus. So those are pre-roasted with the shallots, with the thyme, with yeah, the garlic. Sounds good, right? Yeah. I have a little bit of, uh, whoops, I have I mean, a little bit of salt and pepper. Some goat cheese. Some goat cheese, mm -hmm. which is also great for you. Way better than cow's milk cheese, a lot more nutrients. Oh. And then you're just rolling that thing up like a cordon bleu, aren't that's you? That's right. I got a, a pro here. So yeah, then what we'll do is we'll put the seam side down. Okay. We're gonna sear it. What do you have in the pan already? Is that? I have a little bit of olive oil. Okay. That um, just heat it up so that when you put it in, it gets nice little crisp on it. And then would you be like the fancy pants of the party if you, when you exactly. serve these? This is an awesome cocktail party food. And what you can also do is take what we have here, mm -hmm. for instance, and after you cook it, if you're to cut it. Like this, in, in the little pinwheels, mm -hmm. makes a nice little finger food. Okay. Throw some, uh, throw some toothpicks out, and you're good. Because based on the finished product, it looks like it really kind of tightens up and then just holds it all together, it like it wouldn't unravel. You probably want tighter than I did with just using my tongs. Okay. But uh, throw some gloves on, or just use your hands and make sure you wash and stay sanitary, and get it nice and tight. That way, it stays together. All the goat cheese is going to melt. Mm -hmm. All the flavors going to be really nice and flavorful and come together. So. Fantastic. Now you had mentioned stepping back to the roasting. Can you do the asparagus and the shallots and the thyme kind of all together? Is that the That's idea? That's exactly what I did. Okay. Yeah, and and so I even there have like a, as a side almost. Mm -hmm. You have some, some additional asparagus. You only going to have a couple within inside of the steak. So leave it there, um, serve it right over it, and it's great and good and easy and. And, and skirt steak isn't necessarily going to break the bank. And when it's you're. It's not. And it's, it's, it's prized for its flavor, not necessarily its tenderness. It's exactly why you're going to want to marinate it so it breaks down some. And, um, it's not skirt, it's not a flank steak, but it, um, it's kind of similar to some of the parts of the cow. Mm -hmm. But it's really delicious. It's got a great flavor to it. And like you said, it's not going to break the bank. Yeah. So um, get this for the family, you know, eight bucks and. Uh, Cook it or do a cocktail party and you're, yeah. you're good. And so this one's going to sizzle for a little while. It's going to sizzle. Probably good to turn it. Okay. Yeah. The red, oh, yeah. Good crust on it. Mm -hmm. And then we will eat it depending on how you like it. Finish it off here in the pan for about mm -hmm. three or four more minutes. If you like it rare to medium rare, you want to throw it in the oven for about five minutes to bring it up to medium. Do that. It'll still nice and crispy too. So my, I, I always have a challenge, and Chris, maybe you can guide me here. When I'm like, oh, I need to get the 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 steak out or the meat out and like let it rest. 
You absolutely want to. But then I don't know what to do. Like, do I put tin foil over it? Then it messes up the nice crispiness. No, I would just put it on your cutting board and just let it rest for five, 10 minutes. Especially if you have a larger piece of meat where it's, A, you're gonna have a lot more juices. You wanna give them a chance to redistribute. And um, A, it's gonna be easier to cut because you're not gonna burn your hands. You're not, I'm used to dealing with that kind of stuff, but <laughs> you don't wanna do that. Um, but you get a chance, the juices a chance to redistribute and that way they end up in the meat instead of on the cutting board. Yeah, that's it'll, a lot. It'll stay hot. Are you saying well. I have delicate hands? Is that what Probably you're saying Probably more so than me. <laughs> I have burns all over my hands, right. arms, everywhere. You're, you're used to doing this. That's right. Well, this is really great, and it looks totally flavorful. If you were going to put a side with it, maybe, if you were going to make that a main, what would you recommend? Oh, gosh. I would uh, I think uh, some risotto, like a Parmesan risotto or even a goat cheese risotto would be mm -hmm. good. Um, Maybe some mashed potatoes even, if you want to do kind of a play on mashed potatoes. I see where you're going with yeah, it. Yeah, some sort of starch um, to kind of bring some more flavors around. Love it. Doing the last question, when you're doing that marinating, does it matter how long, kind of just like an hour or two overnight? Probably I, would, I would do it overnight. Okay. Um, for things like chicken, where you're gonna marinate for an hour or two, that's really just to give it some flavor. Yeah. This marinade is balsamic vinegar and olive oil and a little bit of thyme and shallots. It's kind of the same thing that's going mm -hmm. on. But what the balsamic vinegar does is it, it breaks, the acids break down some of the intermuscular tissue. Yeah. And that's what you're looking for versus, obviously it's gonna give you a great flavor, but that's what you're looking for with the skirt steak. So you already used the pounder, you trimmed it, and then you put it, it in, let it, yep. let it get a good nap overnight in the, exactly. the marinade. Yep. All right. Chris, this looks delightful. Thanks for sharing Thank with you. us. We appreciate yeah. it. You can definitely find this recipe online. Try it out for dinner tonight or even a fancy pants party if you have one coming up. We appreciate Chris stopping by. We're going to post this recipe on our website at wtbr.com slash VTM. And right now we're going to send it over your way.